Hi, everyone. So today we're looking at yoga poses for strong arms. Yeah, it's good work, strong work. Um, let's go. Okay, let's start with Urdhva Hastasana. Have a strap, but we don't, we're not gonna use it right away. Okay, so it can just be off to the side. And stand up in Tadasana. Okay, now from here, extend your arms out to the side. Broaden across your front body. So from your center line towards your fingertips, extend. Okay, now turn your palms up. Roll your shoulders down and extend into your middle fingers more. Maintain that extension. Now, as if you were lifting something really heavy, raise your straight arms up to the ceiling. Okay, and now from your wrists, lift the sides of your body up. From your wrist, lift your waist. Okay, draw your elbows in, reach higher and higher. Okay, straighten your legs and again, reach up. Now, what can you do here in this Urdhva Hastasana to draw the upper arm here, the muscles of the upper arm towards the bone, right? So you have this general shape, your arms are up, it's Urdhva Hastasana, fine, okay? But can you suck the muscle onto the bone and lift even higher. All right, and then release. Okay, so you can just, you can let that concept sort of um, resonate a little bit, you know, connect with that. And as we move forward, hopefully it'll start to make a little bit more sense. Okay, so now next variation of Urdhva Hastasin, we'll use the strap and make a, loop in the strap that's about shoulder distance, maybe armpit distance, and then place it on your wrists, okay? And you can just shift the tail of the belt a little bit off to the side so that when we take the arms up, it's not gonna hit you in the face, okay? And then stand with your legs in Tadasana. I'm showing here with my legs together, but if you feel at all unstable or if you feel um, you need a little bit of space between your legs, please do that. Give yourself what you need. Okay, now hit your wrists out against this strap as if you wanted to break the belt. And as soon as you hit out, Observe both the sensation across your back body and also the sensation that comes through this upper arm area, okay? Hit out against the strap and observe what happens. Just release it for a second, okay? And then again, hit out. Notice the texture, the tone that comes, okay? All right, now again, hit out against the strap and maintain it now. Hit out, reach into the small finger side of your arm, hit out, lift, hit out, lift, hit out, lift, hit out, lift. Don't let it go soft at all. Hit your wrists out against the strap and now lift higher, lift higher, like you could literally make yourself longer and longer and longer. Reach more, there's no limit, keep going, extend up. Urdhva Hastasana, okay? Now rotate the upper arms so that the shoulder blades go broad and away from the spine, right? So you're here, lift, and then rotate your upper arms. Each shoulder blade, move it broad away from the spine. And then can you take the arms back a little bit more? Up and back, up and back. And again, observe the texture, the quality, the character that's going on here in your arms. And then release. Okay, so one thing that I find really fascinating about Urdhva Hastasana, and I mean, this comes up in many poses, is that you can do the same pose, but enter it in a different way, and it has a very different experience, right? So having just done Urdhva Hastasana this way, 
Okay, that had a particular response. It felt a certain way in your arms, in your chest, in your back, right? Um, and then going this way with the strap, I suspect, had a slightly different feeling to it. Okay, so just take notice of that, observe that. And now we're going to do Urdhva Hastasan yet another way. Okay, so for this variation, take your hands like this. So elbows bent, it's kind of like top arm gomukhasana, right? So reach your arms up and then bend the elbows. And now move your fingers as wide as the body will let you go. Okay, it'll be easier for them to come towards the spine, but move them as wide as your body will go, right, to the sides there, and then draw your elbows as narrow as possible. Okay, and then see, can you crawl your fingers down your back even more? Okay, so again, fingers wide, elbows narrow, crawl your fingers down your back. Okay, now reach really strongly here up into your elbows and lengthen the side of your body here. Reach up, reach up. Now be mindful of this angle, okay? And without letting the elbows come forward, one iota, now slowly start to unfold your lower arm, unfold your lower arm and reach those arms up for Urdhva Hastasana. Okay, breathe into it and feel what's happening. Feel the texture, the tone, the quality of your arms entering into Urdhva Hastasana in this way. Okay, and then release. All right, how is that? Okay, could you feel a little bit the difference here? Okay. Okay, now we can carry on with that presentation of Urdhva Hastasana and just kind of bump it up a notch. So for that, you'll need a brick, okay? And you're going to palm the brick like this, meaning the wrist is supported, the fingers can extend beyond, okay, like so. And just as we did previously, raise your elbows up and you can let the brick come behind you here, like so. Okay, reach those elbows up more, more, more. Okay, careful not to let the ribs, you know, really come forward. Stand on your heels, Tadasana, and reach your elbows up. Now squeeze the brick with your wrists, and again, without letting the elbows come forward, can you start to unfold, unfold, squeeze the brick, squeeze the brick, and straighten your arms. Okay, and notice how challenging it is to straighten the arms with the brick between here. Give it a fair go, hold it, reach up. Okay, and then release. Okay. So a couple of things that you can play with in trying this, and we'll do it one more time here. Okay, so first off, you've got your hands against the brick here. Notice the um, pressure, right hand, left hand, right? And just see that you're, you know, you're really squeezing with both sides. You might notice a bit of a discrepancy. Okay, then the other thing I want you to pay attention to is that texture of the upper arm. I mean, we're talking today about strong arms, toning the arms, and um, you wanna, it's like, how do we create the response, right? So that's, that's what this study is. That's what this exploration is. Um, and yeah, and then the third thing to pay attention to is just like the challenge of straightening, right? You can reach your arm up. It's easy to straighten. Why is it so much harder in this way, right? So to kind of let those ideas percolate a little bit. All right, so now let's, let's do this one more time before we move on here. Okay, grip your brick between your wrists and then raise your elbows up. Okay, begin with bent elbows. Draw the elbows narrow and the brick going down. Okay, stand in Tadasana, straighten your legs. Breathe here. 
Okay, now even the touch of your wrists into the brick. Push the right hand into the brick, push the left hand into the brick, and draw those elbows narrow. Okay, then keeping that touch even, and without letting the elbows come forward, squeeze the brick and lift. Squeeze the brick and lift. Squeeze and lift. Move your low ribs back a little bit, but mid-buttock forward, right? And then squeeze the brick, lift higher, lift higher. and then release. Okay, let's now do some work with Admukha Svanasana. Okay, and we're gonna go into the pose in a very particular way. Um, so begin kneeling. You're gonna kneel down here and adjust yourself so that you'll be able to reach the front edge of your mat. Okay, so you're on all fours here and notice that my toes are tucked under. Okay, I want you to start with the toes tucked under like this, and then look at the angle of my thighs. I'm gonna reach them back. Okay, I'm not sitting you know, as low down as possible, but instead of the thigh bones being upright, perpendicular to the floor, I'm gonna reach them back, you know, like maybe halfway, like a 45 degree angle or something. I mean, it's not that precise, but just reach them back. Okay, and then with the hips being reached back, crawl your fingers, further and further away and see if you can right, get a grip here on the front edge of your mat. And then press the heel of your hand into the ground here and literally try to pull the rubber out from under you. Okay, so you're working here with equal and opposite actions. The corners of your hips, from the corners of your hips here, reach back behind you, but then using your arms, pull the rubber out from underneath you. Pull forward, pull forward. Okay, and just pause here for a moment and observe. The same way in the study that we did of Urdhva Hastasana, where you explored the texture of your upper arms and that sensation, okay, can you recreate some of that? Right? I mentioned about the, the flesh coming to the bone, right? And so can you recreate that here? Pull the rubber out from under you, revolve your upper arms, turn from the inside out, and suction the flesh to the bone. Okay, and then release. Just pause here. Okay, give yourself a minute and wait. All right, now we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna kinda get into it a little bit swifter, quicker, and then lift up, and it's, have a look, okay? So you're here, take the hips back, and then walk your hands forward. Okay, you can fold your mat as needed here and come to where we left off. You rotate those upper arms, pull the mat forward, reach your hips back. Okay, now from here, all I want you to do is lift your knees two inches off the floor, just a small bit under, excuse me, small bit off the floor. Okay, now again, reach forward, pull the rubber forward, 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 and now without letting your armpits come forward, roll your buttocks up, 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 and slowly start to straighten your legs. Attach your shoulder blades onto the body more strongly, okay? Again, from the wrists, pull forward, pull the rubber forward, and from your hips, reach up and back up and back, and then you can also descend your heels, knees back, thighs back. Okay, release your neck, breathe here, Admukha Svanasana. And then release, lower yourself down and pause. Okay, observe, feel what's happening, notice if the upper arms are feeling engaged, strong, activated. And we're gonna do it again. Now, uh, you know, I sort of just went through it and you may have been doing it there with me, um, quite likely. 
But I want to show you what tends to happen for people so that you can try to um, catch it before it does in case it's happening for you. Okay, so often, you're here, you're going to reach. Okay, you lift the knees up. And when people lift the knees up, they may do something like this, right, where the armpits come forward. Because you were just back here, okay, armpit here, and then can you lift up without letting the armpit come forward? Okay, so from here, like so. Now maybe you're successful at lifting two inches off the floor without the armpits come forward, but then as soon as you straighten the legs, then the armpits come forward, right? So understand this is the challenge, this is the work. And by insisting the angle of the arm stays the same, um, <clears throat> you can get some deep penetration there into the shoulders, okay? So let's do it one more time. Begin on all fours here, tuck the toes under, and then reach your hips back so the thighs are angular. Okay, then walk your hands as far forward as you can. So you're really extending. It's, you wanna almost get rid of the angle of the armpit, right? So from the wrist to the hip, there's a very clear line of communication. Okay, and then grip something. Hold the front edge of your mat. Okay, from the hips reach back and then from the wrists pull the rubber forward. Okay, now maintain that. Lift your knees up and don't let the armpits come forward. Circularly rotate those upper arms, hips up, pull the rubber forward and again, without letting the armpits come forward, start to unfold your legs. Roll the buttocks up and lift the upper leg off the lower leg. Push the rubber and affix your shoulder blades more and more onto the body. Now feel what's happening in your upper arms. See if you can sensitize the outer line of your upper arm. And as you pull the rubber forward, feel that line, right? Can you lift? the upper arm off the lower arm. Does that make sense? <laughs> Can you lift the upper arm this way even though the lower arm is pushing the rubber away? Okay, and again, feel the response. Feel the strength across your upper back. Feel the sensations in your upper arm. Hold it for a moment. Breathe. All right, and then release. For this next sequence, have two bricks, um, tall bricks like this, and we're going to do Advmukhasvanasana into Chaturanga Dandasana. And it is strength building sequence. Okay, it's, we're just going to go for it. <laughs> All right, so this is what it'll look like. Place your hands um, in front of the bricks here. I, I don't have them too far back, just a little bit back here. And then lift up into Admukha Svanasana. Okay, up and back. Okay, now in terms of developing the strength, we're adding weight and we're using our own body as weight. So from here, hinge forward and stack your shoulders over your wrists. Okay, and hold it for a second. Okay, hold it here for a minute and feel, feel what's happening. Feel those upper arms, feel the quality, the texture, the sensations. Okay, and then push back again, Admukha Svanasana. Okay, now from here, again, come forward into a plank position, like so, and then hinge forward, like so. Okay, so from up here, you draw the elbows kind of circularly in and then aim beyond the bricks. Okay, you can re-tuck your toes under. Don't let the buttock sag, but also don't have it way up. So buttock down, thighs up, chin and chest forward. Okay, then with your hands, push the floor, come back to a plank, and then push back into Admukha Svanasana. And just 
keep going, <laughs> okay? So like I said, this is a strength building. This is, we want some integrity in the poses, but also I want you to just keep going with it, okay? So don't, is not about absolute perfection here. All right, from here, come forward into a plank, draw the elbows in, reach forward, Chaturanga Dandasan, and then press your hands, push back up, and into Admukha Svanasana. Come forward, plank position, draw the elbows, reach forward, find your alignment, and then push up, push back, Admukha Svanasana. Okay, keep going. Do two, three more times. Keep going. Okay, now the people, some of you may be struggling with this. This is, it is hard and it takes time to develop the strength to be able to go back and forth. So because today's practice is specifically focused on strong arms, right, on developing the strength in the upper arms, um, one way you can modify this sequence is to keep the knees on the floor, okay? So that you're sort of taking the weight of the, the legs out of the equation, okay? And so if you wanna try that, um, this is what it will look like, okay? So you're still going to uh, have the hips back. Let's see here, like this. So my knees are down. I'm just crossing my legs, my ankles here, and then you're gonna come forward here, just check to see that the bricks are in the right place. And then press your palms into the floor, push up and push back. Okay, come forward, forward, push, and back. Okay, so that's just another way just to back it up until you develop the strength that you need that you can do it in, uh, with straight legs. Okay, so go for a couple more rounds, one or the other. You can take a break as needed. Okay, but let's go maybe two, three more times here. Okay, Admukha Svanasana. Come forward into a plank. Hinge forward into Chaturanga Dandasan. Buttock down, thighs up, look forward. And then push the floor. And then push back. And again, come forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. Push the floor, Admukha Svanasana. Last time here, come forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. Push the floor, and then Admukha Svanasana. Okay, and then bend your knees, and you can just for a moment here put your head down, and recover in Admukha Virasana. Another pose where you can use your own body weight um, to help strengthen your arms, strengthen your upper arms, is in Vashistasana. And so, I thought we'd do just the preliminary stage of Vashistasana. Okay, you're gonna start in Admukha Svanasana. Lift up and back, but have your feet, your legs together. Okay, up and back like so. Okay, and then from this Admukha Svanasana, again, hinge forward into like a plank position, and then roll onto the outer edge of one foot here. Okay, and then from this bottom hip here, don't let it sink, lift up, extend through the inner line of that leg. So big toe mount is reaching towards the ground. Yeah, push the floor with the arm, with the hand that's on the floor. And then this top arm, you can extend it up. Okay, move your mid buttock in, throw your head back a little bit, and then hold it, right? Go for duration here. Press your palm into the floor, Lift your upper arm up off your lower arm. So that's that same instruction as before. Remember that? Can you create that sense, that suctioning of the flesh to the bone? Okay, push down but lift up. Push down but lift up. And see if you can build some, some duration, some stamina here. Okay, all right, and then release. Come back. And then go for your second side. Okay, so then again, come forward, roll onto the small toe side of that leg there, and lift yourself up. 
Press your hand into the floor. Okay, you're just rolling that shoulder blade down your back. Extend through the inner line of your legs so the big toe mound inner heel starts to reach towards the floor and you suck that bottom hip up and in. Okay, throw your head back, move the mid buttock in and hold it here. Feel what's happening with your upper arm. Feel where the weight is on your fingers, your finger mounds. Where does it go naturally? Can you shift some weight towards the base of the index finger? Okay, lift that upper arm up off the lower arm. Firm your upper arm. Hold it. Okay, and then release, come back. And then bend your knees, Admoka Virasan. Okay, and so this is, I'm planting a seed here. This is an idea. You can do more of it. We're gonna move on, but you know, doing the pose once is not really enough. Okay, so you can um, either repeat it or in your own time, repeat it. And I, I, like, I like doing this one and trying to hold it and just seeing how the longer I hold it, uh, you know, things start to fire, right? So you can see if you can use it to activate your upper arms in a good way. Okay, we've been doing quite a lot of work where the wrists are flexed like this. And so let's, um, Let's do Padahastasana, just to release the wrist, um, because actually we're not quite done with that action. Okay, so Padahastasana, you can stand with your feet a little bit apart for right now, maybe hip distance apart, hinge forward, and if you need to bend your knees, no problem, bend your knees, and then step entirely on your palms. Okay, and work your toe mounds all the way to your wrists so that the toes themselves are starting to come up through the forearm bone, like so. And then just, you know, open up the wrist there in that way, okay? Pressurize your feet into your hands, your heels into the floor there, and then pull up against that resistance. So it's, you know, someone's standing on your hands and you're trying to lift up. <laughs> okay, and then roll your buttocks up, 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 and work to straighten your legs. Okay, pull forward, slide those shoulder blades away from your neck. Okay, and even if, if your hamstrings are tight, um, and you're not wanting to straighten your legs at this moment, that's fine. I mean, again, the focus today at this moment is on the upper arm work. And so I just wanna release the wrists here for a moment. We're not doing intense work here in Padahastasana. Okay, you can focus a little bit on shifting the weight slightly forward so that you really feel like the wrist is getting that extension. Okay, and then release. Undo yourself. And come back up. And if you still feel like the wrist isn't totally happy, you can do some circles here. Just move it around in different directions. Okay, because now we're going to go for full arm balance. And so once again, we've got that shape in the wrists. Um, but, you know, of all the poses where you're using your own body weight to help strengthen your arms, full arm balance is definitely a good one to work on. Okay, I want to show you first a sequence in Arda, half position, Arda Admukha Vrikshasan. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Arda Admukha Vrikshasana. You can take a bit of a measurement, okay, sit at the wall here. Sit nice and tight. So just lean forward, get your buttocks really tight to the wall there. And then make a note here where your ankle bone is. And where your ankle bone is, that's where the heel of your hand is gonna go, okay? So you can just make a note, eyeball it, and then plant your hands there, like so. Okay, now if you feel you need a little bit extra support with your arms, you can put a strap um, at your elbows here, like so. 
uh, well, I'm not showing it, but just like so right at this, at this spot here. Okay, and then lift up into a tight dog pose here like so. Rotate your upper arms and very vigorously push the floor down with your palms. Okay, then try to walk up the wall. Now I find it's much easier to go really high and then walk down to about hip height. Okay, now this is where the challenge starts. Okay, push the floor down, squeeze your elbows in, rotate your upper arms, lift your hips up, breathe, and again, feel those upper arms. Feel the texture of the upper arms. Suction the upper arm flesh to the bone. And go for duration. Hold it. Okay, and then release. And you can do this a few times, up and down to your own capacity. And then I'm gonna show you one more thing that I, I like to play with when I'm in this half position just uh, some variations that you can work with. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. You come to where we just left off in this Arda position. And then from here, raise one leg up. So it's like ekapada, okay? And then push the floor. So you're removing one limb, right? It's gonna challenge the arms, the shoulders, slightly different. And then if you wanna take it even one step further, the foot that's on the wall here, see if you can come to the very tip, 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 tips of the toes. And then back to the wall. And then down. Okay, and then you may find you need to rest in between each side, or if you have the strength, the capacity, you can go right away for the other side. Okay, I'm finding talking and doing, I needed, a, I needed to come down for the second side. All right, but second side will look like this. Okay, so please, you, you know, you do it with me or carry on. Either, you, you know, work on any of these presentations here. And also, if, you're, if this is too much, you know, the half full arm balance isn't good, maybe you wanna go back to the Vashistasana and work the one arm at a time. You can even put your feet at the wall for extra support if you need it, need it there. Okay. Half full arm balance. <sighs> and then raise one leg up. Okay, reach up into that lifted foot. Push the floor, press the thumb and index finger, shift some weight there, draw the elbows in, rotate the upper arms, push down but lift up. Again, create that sensation like you're lifting the upper arm off the lower arm. Okay, and then see, can you transfer the weight to the tip, tip toes? Hold it, hold it, push the floor. And then come back, come back to Arda position, hold it, and then back down. And pause. Okay. And then again, if you need to work out your wrists, you can do that, do some circles. You can also take, again, Padahastasana. Okay. And use Padahastasana to just reverse the action in the wrists. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that with you. Again, you can pause the video, continue working with that for a little bit longer, or save it for another day. Um, but, Essentially, everything we did today um, are effective ways to strengthen your upper arms. So you're looking for strong arms, whether it's the muscle of the arm, but also the strength of the bones. Yeah, okay. So 
I think, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna leave you there. Um, happy practicing, enjoy. Let me know how you make out. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the mat next time.